Hey folks, Nass here. Another uh, tips and tricks video. This is actually going to be a build location video. So I've done a couple in the past showing you a few different locations around the map uh, and giving my thoughts on those locations about building and the difficulty and everything. So I've got a few more locations for you. If you are looking for new places to build or starting a new game or wanting to build a second or a third or a fourth village and you're unsure about where you want to try to build at, uh, maybe these locations will help you. This location where you start is actually really nice place to build. Um, you're safe from most aggressive animals there's a pretty large area here to where you're safe uh, as you can see there's a couple of deer in the area there are uh, some berry bushes uh, and stuff here matter of fact let me i gotta change some settings real quick hang on but anyway so you've got berry bushes for berries right there next to your resource storage. Now, as long as you don't chop down the tree and build on top of them, these will stay here. Uh, and that way you'll have berries uh, every uh, summer. So summer will be ripe berries. Uh, spring is unripe berries. Uh, now down here, so off this other side, You've got a nice big flat area. If you wanted to do a nice big uh, farming area, that's great for farming down there. And you're still somewhat close. You can kind of build your houses uh, kind of down off of this slope a little bit if you want to. And then maybe put some of your uh, workshop areas up in this place. You can see we got a ton of trees here. Uh, there's a little clearing here to where you could put a little something if you wanted to. And then I'm going to open the map because we're going to kind of stay in the safe zones today uh, for the most part. But if you come up here to this location right here, you can see this is where the little village is that I've started. There's a cave right there. Now, you want to be careful because a lot of times there's two bears that will spawn. Uh, one to two bears, but mostly two bears right there. Uh, the memorial tree is right there if you ever wanted to go and visit that. But there's a cave there so that way you can go and mine your copper and tin. Now, the only problem with this mine is the bears. Now, granted, you can hunt the bears if you want to, not hunt them. I suggest hunting them if you're going to use this. Otherwise, you're going to have to pick a different mine to go to that's a little bit safer. But as far as this building location, you have a large area. Matter of fact, let's see. I can get it all here. So you have a safe area from, if you can follow my cursor right through here. Uh, let's stay at the road because sometimes there's wolf here. Sometimes there's boar here, but there's nothing in this big area here. Absolutely nothing that you have to worry about in this area here. So it's a huge area for hunting and things like that. And you can hunt deer and rabbit and fox and badger and not have to worry about boar or wolf or wisent uh, attacking you while, you know, while you're, you're hunting. Now, granted, if you obviously the fox will attack you once attacked, but they won't attack you if you're just standing next to them. Uh, but it's a nice, safe area to build in. It's a nice, large area. To, to sprawl out. Uh, you've got a little bit of flat area and some rocky areas and some, you know, hills and things to make a really nice village uh, out of this particular area. And you've got a ton of trees around. But that's my, that's my lo first location uh, is right there at the starter uh, location where you start the game. So our next location, we're going to head over on the other side of Borowu and I'll see you folks when we get there. Alrighty, and for our second location, we are right outside of Borowu. Matter of fact, if we go right back over here, you can actually see the tops of the buildings right there. So we are very close to Borowu. You're very close to a vendor. Uh, just like over in the first location, uh, you're very close to a vendor. You can run down to Gustovia and sell your stuff. Matter of fact, there's multiple vendors in Gustovia. Uh, I want to say there's only two vendors in Borowu. But this location here, 
you can see I put up a little house and, and stuff and a good, again, food storage, resource storage, uh, put a little campfire with some, you know, uh, seating and stuff. Uh, this little road path, I added this little path in here in front of those. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of flat areas that's very useful for, you know, your farming plots and things like that. You can even go down the hill over there, uh, beyond this little roadway, um, you know, and of course you can sprawl out the other direction. Uh, you can utilize the natural road way that runs through here. Uh, but your safe area as far as aggressive animals is smaller. Matter of fact, let me open the map here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. So here we are where the marker is. Now you have Wysant that kind of roam this area over here. You've got a uh, boar that is over in this area over here and then back up here. And then over in this area here, you have wolf that, you know, kind of patrol this area over here. So your hunting area, it's still large for the most part, but you do have to watch out for more aggressive animals as you're wandering away from your own camp. Now there's a ton of trees uh, over in this area that you can chop down for your wood and stuff. Uh, again, you've got flat areas uh, back out in here for, for your farming plots and then back up in here uh, that you can put, you know, some pretty decent sized uh, farming plots. Now, just like the first area, so above Gustovia, you don't really want to go this side because you you have Wysant Wolf uh, back over in here. Now, granted, the uh, bear are at the the cave at the first area, but there's no water. You can see that there's no water. However, you can build a well, and you only need. Uh, let me see. What are the technology points for the well? You need fifty farming technology points to reach the well. That's really not that hard to get to. Uh, you, you build, you know, a 16 by 16 plot uh, and you uh, grub the whole thing up and maybe put some fertilizer or something on it. You're doing pretty good. Uh, but once you get the well, you're OK on water because you can put that right in your village and water is really not that big of a deal. So it makes building in more remote areas a lot easier. Um because you don't have to constantly run down to the stream or the river or the lake or whatever to get your water. Uh, but anyway, this is the second location uh, just above Borowu. Uh, now granted, as far as hunting, easy hunting, there's rabbits, there's fox, again, there's badger. Um, you have deer over here. I wouldn't necessarily call them easy hunting. <laughs> uh, but as far as aggressive hunting, you have Wysant, uh, you've got uh, boar and wolf. So you, you've got a large array of animals that you can hunt over here. And there are a ton of maple trees around the area. You just have to be careful and watch out for Wysant uh, because you're going to be doing most of that down off of the hill over here. But anyway, that is location number two. So let's head off to location number three, which is going to take us all the way across the map. This is probably going to be the most challenging location to build for this particular episode. Uh, but let me head over there and I'll see you folks in just a moment. Alrighty, folks. And here we are at our third location. As you can see, there's a cave right there. So you are right next to a cave. However, this is probably going to be the most one of the more challenging locations to build. One, because you're surrounded by all of these mountains and rocks and, and you only have birch trees as far as wood. Uh, now, granted, there's a few of the what are these spruce trees? Yeah, there's a few spruce trees, but the uh, maple trees are very scarce up here. Um, this little pathway that I'm walking on is a placed pathway. I placed it. However, before I placed it, there was like a little dirt trail. So this is actually not a road. Not like is what uh, is all around the map. This is what looks to be just a kind of a worn path. 
and that's what was here. So I just kind of followed that same worn path around here. Matter of fact, it stops. Yeah, my placement stops right past this little fence here. Now you can see I've put a small uh, little farming plot right there. Of course, we got a food storage, we got a resource storage, and one little house. Um, put a fence around it and stuff. Now, the what, probably one of the more challenging things around here is the fact that you're right next to a bear spawn. So a bear actually will spawn right up here on this hill. So <laughs> he's very close. However, the entire time I was building this, he never actually came over and aggroed me. Now, granted, I had to kill him a couple of times, uh, but it wasn't, you know, I don't know that it's, depending on how many, what, what kind of weapons you have, it'll depend on how difficult it is to deal with the bear. But being on this side of this little path, he doesn't really seem to bother you very much. Um, he does wander down through here a little bit. So if he comes down off this hill, he does kind of walk out through here a little bit, but he's not really close enough. Uh, or he wasn't close enough for me to aggro him, but you're right next to a cave. So you do have, uh, easy, early, easy access to some of the metals, uh, inside the cave. Now I don't know if there are two bear that spawn around here or just the one. Uh, but this way you can actually come in and easily mine the cave yourself uh, in this particular location. And it gives you more of a building challenge. Uh, one, because you're not going to be able to uh, get as much wood as easily for, uh, for your building. You're not anywhere close to where you can get straw for thatch. You have to travel for a lot of your resources. Um, now granted, that doesn't mean that if you, if you get a, a woodshed and a worker in here, obviously they're going to be gathering the wood for you, uh, regularly anyway. But as far as you personally grabbing the wood to start out, uh, if it's a new game or whatever, obviously you're going to be chopping down a lot more trees, uh, because birch only gives you two logs. Spruce only gives you three as opposed to the maple giving you four, uh, which the other locations had maple trees in abundance. And you were close enough to where you could safely go and get um, the straw down by the, the river for your thatch roofs and stuff. Now, obviously, if you get a woodshed built, you can actually turn the logs into planks and you don't even have to worry about the thatch roof. But for your first quest, you may have to unless you're stealing the planks from one of the nearby villages and stuff. And I believe you need 24 planks um, for the roof, I'm pretty sure, if you're going to do that. But still, you're going to need it for uh, the food storage and all the different uh, buildings and stuff are going to require the straw anyway. So if you're going to build in this location, I would suggest going and gathering, I don't know, two or 300 pieces of the straw. You can get it from this area over here. I think there's a little area here. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's actually an area right here. So you're not too far from it. Uh, and then, of course, Gustovia, right outside Gustovia, there is a spot. And then back over here is a small spot. Um, so you, you're just going to have to go and gather the resources and bring them back. So again, uh, with the lack of maple trees, and of course, the bear that is going to be, uh, <laughs> it could either be a blessing or a curse, depending on whether you are good at hunting or like to fight uh, the animals and stuff, or have the ability to fight them and not die. Uh, but there's a lot of challenge over in this area when it comes to the building and stuff. But this is my third location. So hopefully these guides are helping you uh, in choosing locations for you to build. And again, I'm going to show you on the map where I'm at. Uh, we are just uh, south of Lesnica, where that particular cave is. So there's the cave right there. So you could follow that down, and then you can kind of see there's a little worn path right there. Now, granted, I was able to build on this path. I, I wasn't really limited to building. I could place my roadway on it just fine. But anyway, uh, if you're finding these helpful, definitely hit that like button. Um, maybe tell me in the comments below, 
which one of these you like. Maybe tell me in the comments where you like to build, what your favorite place is. What's your worst place that you found that you <laughs> that maybe you built in and you're like, oh man, I, I need to start a new game. I hate this place. <laughs> But anyway, folks, uh, that's going to be it for this particular episode. Make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you're notified each time I put up a video. Uh, also, all of my links are out down in the description below. Uh, buy me a coffee, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. Uh, you can find those down there. Anyway, folks, uh, we will see you in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.